All right, welcome, and in this quick video, we're gonna talk real quick about how to do topic keyword clustering with ChatGPT4. Now, if you're not familiar with the idea of topic clustering, here is ultimately the issue. If we wanna rank for a given term, a lot of times something that is high traffic, we need to have enough authority on our website to be able to rank for those keywords. Now, how do we develop authority? Authority is a combination of a lot of different SEO factors, how many backlinks we have, et cetera. But one of those things also is how many pieces of content that we do have around a given topic. So you need to be able to be perceived in Google's eyes as an expert and a relevant uh, authority on something in order to rank your content. So developing what we call a topic cluster is one of the ways to get that authority. So if we ask ChatGPT4 what a topic cluster is in blogging, it gives us a pretty good rundown of that. It helps create authority by organizing related blog posts and of course keywords around a central topic or theme. So to create a topical cluster, it generally consists of three major elements. Number one is pillar content. You can think about this as an authority blog post that has a lot of different things in it. Imagine like the beginner's guide to XYZ or the complete ultimate guide to XYZ, but it's not gonna cover every little individual how-to around most of those subtopics. The subtopics in the article are what we're gonna call cluster content. There are several smaller, more focused blog posts around subtopics that all are going to link back to the primary pillar content in order to develop authority. It links back through internal links. So not only do we wanna have pillar content, the primary thing that we're trying to drive the traffic to, but also these individual cluster topics that are internally linked. So how do we design this with ChatGPT? Pretty simple. There's some other tools that I've talked about with this. One of them is Keyword Cupid, but this is a free way to do this. Let's head over to Google and let's just grab a topic. Now the topic I'm gonna to select here is squat techniques. So if I search for that, we get a YouTube video right away. So that tells us it is important to have some type of visual or um, you can see here that it's highlighted at five minutes and 13 seconds. So there is a tutorial aspect to squat technique. But then when we scroll down here, we see the first uh, post here is gonna be from very well fit which is an authority website. So we're gonna grab that, and then when we click on it, we see this authority post. It's a table of contents, we see all of the benefits, blah, 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 okay? So we can take this here, and we wanna find out what this blog post is ranking for. So we're gonna go over to a keyword tool. I'm using Ubersuggest, you can use Ahrefs, you can use SEMrush, whatever you choose. So when we stick that URL in here, we're gonna see all of the keywords that this uh, blog post is ranking for. Now notice up here, I also just looked at, it says safe squat technique and then had a bunch of numbers. It's interesting that that's not a very optimized URL structure, something to note. So as we go through here, we could see the SEO difficulty on this thing is gonna be pretty high with all of these keywords. So the fact that this blog post is ranking for all of these super hard to rank for keywords is pretty indicative of the level of authority that website has. But additionally, it's gonna tell us how difficult it is for us to rank on this if we don't have that same degree of authority. So we're definitely gonna to wanna to split all of these topics up so that we can get individual focused blog posts on the subtopics and then ultimately create a pillar content page like they have so that we can rank for that over time as the website gets stronger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab all those keywords, we could select them all and then copy them, and we're gonna go over to ChatGPT. So what we're gonna do, I've done this already, just to save time, is right there, so we've got this one. Oh, that's my keyword cluster. So I'm gonna scroll all the way up here so you could see what I've done. I ask at the top, I'm gonna to give you a list of keywords. Can you cluster them together for individual blog posts? Yes, it can and I paste in that humongous list of keywords. And what I'm asking it to do is to sort them out rather than to manually go through here and try to figure out which groups of keywords are gonna to fit together. So what it's done is it's clustered it into 10 groups for me and it's given a headline as well. 
So generally one blog post would be introduction to squats and proper form. And then it gives me a whole bunch of keywords that will work underneath that. And again, it has done so for about 10 posts. So essentially what we have here is we have 10 different uh, targeted blog posts in our cluster. And of course, what we could do is write a supra or a, what I call a meta post or a pillar post that talks about squat technique and then of course links out to all of these individual blog posts. But obviously these specific blog posts or these cluster posts are gonna link back to the pillar post. So what I ask now is write blog post outlines for this topic cluster series. Be sure to include the recommended internal link text as well as the post to link to. So this is not as in-depth as I would normally go. Um, I would normally try to get a much more thorough blog outline, but for obviously just for brevity in this uh, video, what I wanted to do is to just show you quickly how I would start this process. And what it's done is it's given me the outline here. So introduction to squats and proper form. And of course it's giving me the major elements that I need to include. And it tells me what the internal link text is going to be. In this case, beginner's guide to squats. And you want to link to blog post number seven. And that would be the name of that one, for example. So we've got two internal links going outward to other cluster posts in the series. And it would do this through all of these additional blog posts. Okay. So what I would do is I would optimize everything here for SEO value and so forth. Most of the time I'm going to run these individually through uh, Surfer SEO to further optimize and find out which natural language processing keywords and so forth I would be using for each of these articles and get that score up as high as possible. And oftentimes run this through Zimwriter to actually write the content. So of course you could find specific videos. I'm not gonna go through that here. Otherwise we'll be here for 45 minutes to show you exactly how to do that. So make sure you review those videos. And that way we now have a way to cluster all of our topics together for keywords that we can just find out what other blog posts are ranking for and start to build up some really solid authority on the website and start ranking for a lot of keywords and make some money. So I hope that's helpful um, and that quick walkthrough there. If you like this video, please do me a favor, give me a like, comment below, subscribe to the channel. And of course, these days you have to hit that little bell to get notified of additional videos that are coming up. So as always, thanks for watching.